What's good, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and in this video, I'm going to tell you why Daredevil Season 3, in my opinion, is the best season of the entire show. Before we get started, hit those like and subscribe buttons down below and that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop future videos. Okay, Daredevil is a Marvel, of course, Marvel, Netflix produced show. It ran from 2015 to through 2018 I, I, I was totally blown away by season three um uh, season one was great season two was just all over the place I really didn't like I mean I liked how they implemented Electra and, and Punisher into the season two but I, I just feel like they could have had their well Punisher he has his own show but Electra she should have had her own show and I think it was just all over the place uh, uh, season three just to me was was the icing on the cake for this wonderful show I mean it was just magnificent um but the season starts out with Matt Murdock aka Daredevil he um He's coming back from fighting the hand, which he did in season two, and he's he has a different outlook like of life. Um, he goes to um father I, I forget the father's name, but they take him in and they they get him like back on his feet and stuff like that, and he just looks like defeated and weak. Um, Foggy and Karen they don't know if he's alive or not. Um, they think he's dead. Um, eventually he does like regain his strength and stuff like that and gets back up on his feet. Um, and, um, here's, here's what the plot twist is. We get introduced to a new character named Rain the Deem. Now, Rain the Deem is an FBI agent who, uh, I mean, he, who is, I mean, you could tell he's a family man. He's, a, um, he's a dedicated agent. He loves his job. So he cuts a deal with Wilson Fix. Yeah, Wilson Fix is has, has appeared in all three seasons, of course. He um makes he cuts a deal with Wilson Fix Fisk. He says to him if he if Wilson Fisk can get the FBI, the Albanians on all these crime lords like that Wilson Fisk had business with, they would like grant his release from jail, but he's not really released from jail. He's um, up in a penthouse, and I think it's like witness protection so he won't get killed in prison. Um, and he um, he um, cuts a deal with them. He snitches on the Albanians. He gives them every crime lord uh, there is. And he's just up in this penthouse, like with these cameras and stuff. And, and you know, and the thing about Fisk is he's very manipulative, manipulative, manipulative. Um, excuse me, my words ain't coming out correctly. Um, he 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 he'll bring you down, but he'll bring you down like strategically. I mean, he won't just go into like he won't just go up to rob somebody or trying to bring down cops or, or FBI or nothing. Wilson Fix, man, and, and Vincent D'Onofrio, man, this guy should have got an Oscar by now, man. He plays this character great, man. He, I've seen him play a hillbilly, like a hick hillbilly on the, the Saw and Seed. I mean, he has so much range. He can play any damn character, man. And and, and, I, and this guy should have got an Oscar by now. But anyway, he cuts a deal with them, the FBI, and then he start rounding them up and, and um, they everybody's mad. Hell's Kitchen is mad because Fisk is out and you know, and they want him back in jail, and he's really in jail, but he's, like, living in a penthouse, but, and Ray Nadim, like, he just brings Ray Nadim and the whole FBI down, and we also get introduced to the Bullseye, a.k.a. Dex, Benjamin Poindexter, a.k.a. Dex, who was played by, I think is Wilson Bethel, was the actor's name, I'm not for sure, but, I mean, this guy, man, Wilson Bethel was outstanding as Bullseye. The, the great, perfect choice, man. The guy's arrogant, cocky. And there was some scenes where I, I just wanted to punch him through my damn TV, man. And the guy is just fucking cocky and, and arrogant. And he, he, think, he thinks he, he could walk on. He thinks he's above the FBI. 
okay? And he's like, uh, he's had a troubled childhood. And I want to go back, speaking of troubled childhood, the, the scenes that they were having on his troubled childhood, like those scenes were beautifully shot. The cinematography of this a show was outstanding. The, the Dolby Vision is fantastic. And the Dolby Atmos, well, season three was the only season that had a Dolby Atmos track, which Dolby, yeah, which, uh, because Dolby Atmos wasn't implemented in 2015, obviously, but uh, Dolby, the Dolby Atmos sounds really fantastic. That's another reason why season three is is the best season of the Daredevil. And, and, and Daredevil is quite uh, quite possibly the best one of the top three netflix shows of all time is this is this the best marvel show of all time next big show of all time as well but anyway um in bullseye like he saves wilson fist but he he says he saves him corruptively he kills these albanians the albanians are out to get get wilson fisk and wilson fisk is is being like the the the, the transporter that the they um was care was transporting men of the truck and it flipped over and the Albanians they were coming with their guns and stuff like that and he was um trapped in there and so Bullseye aka Benjamin Point that's where he comes in blasting and and two of the Albanians said we'll surrender they didn't even have any guns in their hand and and he drops them, and he saves Wilson Fisk, and uh, Wilson Fisk, uh, you know, thinks he has a, a, a friend, you know, which he, which he will have a friend, because he's really, you know, going to, as we see in the later episodes, he's going to become like a, um, you know, um, one of Wilson Fisk's henchmen, you know, but... And now the FBI is um, investigating uh, Dak Poindexter because they think he uh, killed those guys uh, in not self-defense. But Wilson Fisk lies and he says, um, "Oh, he killed, he killed, he killed him in self-defense," and which which is really not true. And he's really saving Ben Poindexter's ass. It was one uh, scene that uh, one one of the scenes, best scenes in the entire season, was when uh, uh, Matt. Um, he um still he meets Foggy. Foggy's like, are you is this can't be real? And he says it's real. And he, he talks to Foggy. He tells Foggy, I don't want you in Karen to, you know, I don't want you guys to um be involved. I want to take Wilson Fist down myself. And then he then he 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 steals Foggy's wallet. Like I don't know how he did it, but he steals his wallet. Like, and then he uses his ID uh, and his bar license, his lawyer license card, lawyer, lawyer license, attorney license card, and or whatever. And he goes to this prison. I don't know if it's Rikers Island. I'm assuming it's Rikers Island um, to, to, to meet with these Albanians. He goes in there and and apparently he meets, I forget the guy's name that they um, knocked. They, he was in, I think, season two or season one. I'm, I'm not for sure, but... He helped, uh, he was telling him about the Punisher, but he goes there and meets him, and then he knocks him out. He says, I said nothing, and, and all this other shit. And then they take Matt uh, back to this, like, doctor's area, uh, and this guy, he um, injects him with something, and he knocks him out, and there's a camera up on the, in the um, upper corner, and he says, um, and, if, and um, Fisk was watching him, he says, uh, you know, for a blind man, you sure have great reflexes, or something like that. And the, the voice that 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 um uh, Kingpin has, it's 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 amazing, you know, the, the, the voice he has. Because Vincent D'Onofrio does not talk like that anyway. And then the, the Albanians or the prison guards, they just come in and and you know, and they do their thing and. You know, and Matt beats their asses, you know, he beats their asses and stuff like that. And then he goes to the Albanian leader who's, who, you know, who Wilson Fist, Wilson Fist snitches on. He goes to him and he's like, oh, I can help you get Fisk out and, and all that. And, and, you know, and they help him escape from jail. And he's, and the red lights come on, cold 23, cold 33, cold 30 and all that. It, it, it was just a, an emotional season. And then he goes 
back and, and, and stuff like that. And, and for some fixed tales like uh, Wayne Rain the Deem about like uh, the search Matt Murdoch's apartment and then um, but but the, the the best one of the best episodes is when uh, I think Bullseye he attacks the bulletin and I, I honestly thought he was going to kill Karen right there because he says Karen nice to meet you again or something like that. And Karen was one of my least liked uh, characters on this show and not because the actress Deborah Ann Wall she's beautiful. Um, it's, it's, it's just that in, I think in season one, she was more likable, but in seasons two and three, she was just a very, very unlikable, an unlikable character in my opinion. I mean, she, and like, there was one scene in season three where she like sees these three guys, I think harassing these girls and stuff. And she, she wants to be Hellcat or Jessica Jones or Kitty Pride or whatever Marvel or DC character, excuse me, yeah, DC character she wants to be. I, I think she wants to be Marvel because it's Marvel and not, but she goes like across the street now. She could have walked like right there, but she like wants to go across the street and she has a gun on, the, gun on her and she's like, uh, is this uh, where I play scared little girl? And 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 you know, and you which one? We, me, or you? Or and she's and the other two dudes just jetted out of there, and she's like pissed, man. I thought she was gonna shoot him, and she's like, "What you still doing here?" And she's like, <laughs> "And damn!" And I mean, she she in this season, like she's changed, like she's no longer a scary girl like even when she's killed uh i think wesley even when she killed him she was like you know it's kind of scared and timid i mean she like everybody in this season is different matt's different foggy's different foggy has a haircut and he's back with marcy um and and, and you know Karen, she's, uh, you know, different in this. It's everybody seems like they're different in this, in this season. And, and it's, I mean, and then it in, ends up like he brings like the FBI down and Tammy Hatley, uh, the FBI director, she turns corrupt and then they frame, um, they trying to set up, um, I think Felix Manning uh, sets up, um, Nadine, uh, she, they, they actually invite Nadine in, into her home, and I think they kill the FBI agent and think it's Nadine, but less Nadine works for Fisk, and then he works for Fisk, and then the father James, I think his name is Father James, he gets killed by Bullseye, and it's because, mainly because, of, um, you know, you know, um, Karen, she was there and and stuff like that, and. Bullseye kills him, and it, 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 it's just an emotional uh, season. Um, and then, obviously, at the end of the last episode, Fisk gets his ass beat. But you don't get to destroy who I am. You will go back to prison, and you will live the rest of your miserable life in a cage, knowing you'll never have, Vanessa, that this city rejected you. It beat you. I beat you. my secret and you won't harm Karen Page or fucking Nelson or anyone else because if you do I will go after your wife you know he really gets beat and, and another thing about Fisk and Vanessa like she's just as corrupt and, and, and criminal as Fisk is I mean she left she leaves uh you know leaves um the state you know and uh, usually leaves the country and and she's um like i said just as guilty as he is and like i said the you know this season was just outstanding to me like and you can tell it reminded me of the, the dark night how that act that type of acting and i think the producers the directors the screenplay writers everything they got their influence from the dark night christopher nolan um that's christopher nolan's british and i don't know if the writers are british but i know charlie clock charlie cox is Brit british e edo i think it's edo edoe or edoe 
or Ida Lee Young. I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm pronouncing her name right. Uh, the, the girl that played, the woman that played Electra, she's British. J. Ali is British. And and I think a couple of other, I think the guy who played Felix Manning is British too because he had an accent. But I'm pretty sure that the producers and the directors and stuff are, are British. Um, cause Christopher, they, they probably got their ideas from Christopher Nolan because he's, he resurrected the Batman, um, uh, you know, franchise. But, um, like I said, and I, I said, I didn't like season two. That mean, I don't hate season two. I just feel like it was all over the place. Um, season one was great, but season, like I said, season three was outstanding. Um, and like, the scenes were, I mean, especially Wilson Bethel, he, he, like, there were some scenes where he even outacted Vincent D'Onofrio, D'Onofrio. Now, Vincent D'Onofrio was, like, three times his age. I was stunned when I said Vincent D'Onofrio was born in the late 50s. Like, he's almost 60, if not 60. Like, I thought he was, like, younger than that, but he's been around for a long time, and he was great in the cell. He was great in the salt and sea. He was great in um from a little bit of on screen time. He was great in um what was that movie with um Sly Stallone and Arnold? Oh, Escape Plan. He was great in that. And I, he's been great in everything I've seen him in, and he still doesn't have an Oscar yet. Um, and Wilson Bethel, I don't know much about him, but he he's a terrific actor. It needs to go somewhere, or it becomes a poison. It will kill you from within. I find that when this rage cannot stay buried in me for one more second, that a primal scream is the only satisfying release. Yes. Charlie Cox is great in this. Deborah Ann Ball, she's in the middle. She's sometimes she's great, sometimes she's not. Foggy, El Eldon Henson, he's outstanding. Um, and the, the, the J. Ali man, I haven't seen much of J. Ali's work, but that guy is a great, great actor. And I, you know, he's one of those actors that like. He doesn't, he has range, like he can, you know, when his presence is on the screen that you can tell his presence is, is right there on the screen. And it, it was just a beautifully written, directed, uh, great season of, of season three of Daredevil. So let me know what you guys think. I, I just recapped in most of the um, episodes um, or most of the season for you guys just let me know what you guys think is season three of daredevil the best season uh, three on the entire excuse me is the best season in the entire show or do you like season two better than you like season three you like season one better like season three season three and so on um, so um uh, drop me a comment below hit that like button and subscribe to my channel because i'm trying to grow my channel here and um i'm trying to get in as much views and stuff as I can with my video game um, audience and stuff like that. And more videos are coming. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos and st stuff like this. My opinion videos and streaming video f directly from my PlayStation 5 to my um, YouTube channel. So be on the lookout for that. Okay. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Hope you guys enjoy the game. Um, it's Super Bowl Sunday. And, um... I'll see you guys on the next video. Once again, peace. Have a safe Super Bowl Sunday. And I'll see you on the next video.